made them. Should I get off or should I lay down? Good boy. Very good boy. Good job. You nice, go. nice work. Good job. I'm working with Mr. Gibbs, a labradoodle, and he is doing so well. And what we're doing now is some exercises with place, down, recall, which is the common command, and name recognition, and most importantly, him learning to actually take direction from humans who are talking to him and actually listen and follow through. So the concepts that we're doing are very easy, very basic. I'm calling him to me, I'm sending him to a bed, I'm asking him to lay down, I'm asking him to stay. Really basic stuff, but it's not easy if a dog isn't listening or isn't trying. So we're looking for effort and compliance. Um, I'm at really low numbers just for communication levels, six on the e-collar. Um, so if I notice him needing help, I will help him with my body, I'll use the leash if I need to, I'll use really low pressure on the collar, um, but for the most part he's getting reps on things he's already learned, and just getting practice with listening to a new person, which is me. Gabby's done all the work so far. So I've got two place beds out, and the way that I'm going to get him from one place bed to another is the recall command, which is come paired with a tap on the tone, which guides him to me, and then I point and tell him place. This is a lot harder than it looks. A lot of dogs will come, they'll get on the bed, they'll get off the bed, they'll walk around the room, they'll jump up on the couch, they'll just walk out of the room, they don't want to lay down, they don't want to stay. So it gives us a lot of practice to getting him to listen to people, okay? First thing I'm going to do is say his name. I don't want him to shoot towards me when I say his name. His name, I just want him to look at me. Gibbs. Good. He stops breathing for a second. He looks up at me. Yes, Julie. And then I can give the command. Come. Good. Place. Pressure's on. Pressure's off. Good. I want him to get on the bed and stay on the bed. I don't want him to overshoot it. So at a level six, which is just communicative. Once he steps off the bed, making a mistake, pressure's on, it's held, so it's very clear to him, hey, that's a mistake, till he gets back on the bed and it's released, and then he gets praised. Good job. So he gets on the bed and he sits, which is great. Now it gives me an opportunity to get in a down rep. Down, no pressure on the collar, and he gets praised. Good boy. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a dog who listens the first time, no pressure turns on, he gets praised, it's a win-win. Now, as I walk away and around the room, he's expected to stay on the bed. It's what he's been trained to do. He makes a really good choice by putting his chin down. That is commitment. Good boy. I'm going to praise that. Such a good boy. Very nice job. Calm affection. Good job. I can even start adding in some distractions. Who is it? Open up the door. Oh, hi there. Nice to see you. Come on in. Hi. Nice to see you. Good boy. Very nice job. And then we can keep going. Gibbs. Come. Good boy. Place. No. Good, pressure was on and then it was off once he got on the bed. Now he's offering me an auto down without me telling him. So I'll give that a whole bunch of praise, a whole bunch of love. What a good boy you are, you so handsome. What a good boy. Yes, you are. Stay, walk around the room. What a good boy you are, Gibbs. Good job. We're also getting an opportunity to teach him the language of the remote collar because every time he makes a mistake, it's so obvious, right? Because pressure turns on and he's like, oh, I made a mistake. And then once he does the right thing, it turns off and he gets praise, right? Gives. Good. Come. Good job. Place. No. Good. Down. Good boy. Good job, bud. You're getting it. You good boy. Yes, you are. Give me the belly. 
So my hope is that once I start recalling him to the bed, he stops overshooting it, he just gets on and lays down. That is the end result that we want from this pattern. And his owners are going to be using the same pattern once they go home, but in a more practical way. Um, they won't be doing drills, but they'll more be just recalling him to his place bed, sending him to place, telling him to down, and he stays there for a while. Okay? He's so handsome. Yes. Good. Come. Good boy. Place. Perfect rep. He did not overshoot the bed. He got on and laid down without me asking. Pressure never turns on. You go, boy. Yes, you are. You smart. Yes, you are. So once he starts getting a couple perfect reps like that, we can end the exercise. We don't need to keep repeating this once he knows it. Gibbs. Come. Good boy. Place. He's got it. What a good boy. Very nice work. Good boy. Good boy. So now I'm going to take one of the beds away. And we'll just do some recalls to me, which is actually really challenging because there's no landing pad. So he's got to come to me, sit her down somewhere right around my feet. It's a little bit harder because there's a lot more options. Gibbs. Good. Good boy. Come. Good boy. Sit. Perfect boy. You a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Stay. The sit stay is a lot harder than it looks. It's really, really difficult for dogs to hold a sit. Good. Good boy. Oh my goodness. Hi. You're so cute. Yes, you are. No. Click. Good. The baby talk always gets him. He wants to lay down. That's fine. It's more commitment. You're so cute. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Good boy. Good. Using that impulse control. Very nice. Stay. Come. Good boy. Place. You got that. Good job. Good boy. Yes. Good. Break. Good boy. Gabby just came in at the end of our lesson. Let me try to recall him off of Gabby. He's my buddy. Honestly, because it's really hard for dogs. They can do drills all day. But once you're asking them to recall off of or basically a resource that he really likes, he might say, mm, no, no, thanks, Julie. I'm going to stay here with Gabby where I'm getting pet. And Gabby's not asking me to work. So the only thing I'm going to ask is that once I recall him, Gabby goes neutral, um, and that if you're recalling him off of a person at home, just ask them to stop petting him once you give the command. Okay, Gibbs, come. That's a good boy. Place, and we get the auto down. I'm good so job. That's really. I mean, we've seen a lot of dogs who know the command. And then they do not want to leave the person that's giving them affection. So this is a good dog right here. Getting a dog to listen, even when they don't necessarily want to, that is the whole point of our program.